Hello, and welcome to the Quaker Cinema's Review Show. Today, we're going to be reviewing the movie Hobbs and Shaw. We have our guests, Mike Ernest, Jerry Latonich, and I'm Will Ernest. Mike, we'll go to you first. What did you think of Hobbs and Shaw? Well, Hobbs and Shaw was, in a lot of ways, what you would anticipate if you're going to see The Rock. Uh, any Dwayne Johnson movie, for the most part, there's going to be a lot of action. There are going to be a lot of choreographed fight scenes throughout, and this one does not disappoint. I will say, for this movie, they, they were creative. They, when your movie is two hours and 20 minutes long, you got to get creative when you have fight scenes, and they do that throughout this film. There is some comic relief uh, with Kevin Hart, but for the most part, the movie is going to be Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Jason Stratham in one fight after another. Most people, I'm guessing, probably are not even involved in a fist fight their whole life. This movie, there's no less than 300 fist fights per person through the whole movie. It is a constant fight scene throughout. However, they're creative, it's entertaining. Thanks, Mike. Jerry? Hobbs and Shaw is a nice hour and a half movie. The problem is it's two hours and 17 minutes. <laughs> now, what I did like, though, was some of the special effects what, with these motorcycle chase scenes were, really kept you on the edge of your seat. There was some indecent interplay between uh, Dwayne Johnson and um, Jason Stratham. I like that. I liked uh, his sister, who was like quasi-love interest better. But I thought it was the best character in the whole movie was Idris Elba as the bad guy. Um, the motorcycle scenes are fantastic, keeping you on the edge of your seat. Idris Elba is really what you want out of a bad guy. He's entertaining. He's evil. He doesn't really understand that he's evil. Um, overall, it was a pretty good movie. Thanks, Jerry. I like this movie much like I like Jumanji, I like Rampage, both his rock movies that are, were fun movies. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of thinking involved with it, but it's, uh, it's just a fun movie. We were just talking about Jason Stratham. How'd that guy ever become a tough guy? This looks like uh, kind of an older guy. Is this kind of... <laughs> I don't know. He's, he's, made, anyone he yeah, <laughs> he's made a career out of it. I uh, just find that funny in the movie. But uh, you know what? It's not bad. I give it three cues. Like, I'm going to say three cues as well. Uh, a little predictable at times with the dialogue, but pretty creative when it comes to uh, carrying out the fight scenes. Jerry? I'd give it three and a half. All right. And uh, what's our next one? Uh, our next film with the Quaker, we're going to have two new ones coming up that we'll be reviewing. Angry Birds 2 and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. All right. That's all for our review show today. All right. See you the next time.